Hello viewers, uh, welcome to the Mbele's Talk with Munya, with myself, your host, uh, Munya Radzitembenuzani. And uh, today we are going to be talking about menstruation. And uh, today I'm joined by uh, Kuda and Joelin. I think I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Uh, Kuda, talk to them. Uh, hello viewers, uh, thank you very much, uh, Munya. Uh, my name is Kuda Goshi Jamao Terezo. I'm from Young People's Network on Sexual Reproductive HIV and AIDS. I'm um, also the district facilitator in Northern Northern District. I'm um, also um, the, the, the founder of uh, Matters of Young People. And I'm glad that this topic here, uh, mainly we are going to talk about something that involves the youth. Thank you very much. Okay. Hello guys, my name is Jaylene Blue. I'm from Bari, from the group called HVA Mbawaki Club and from National Club there. Thank you. Oh, interesting. Uh, if somebody asks me to introduce yourself, I only say my name is Munya and I'm from Bari. But from what I'm hearing, these titles, guys, I'm Remero. <laughs> so, okay, let's just get it right straight into it, is it? Uh, Kuda, um, uh, in, in, in its simplest form, what can we say is uh, menstruation? What is menstruation? Okay, um, menstruation, um, these are a series of natural uh, changes in human, uh, hormone production. Um, uh, structures of um, uterus and the ovaries that makes a uh, pregnancy possible. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I, I, I wish I could pretend like I understood. But can you, like, okay, I, I think I'll give you a joy. Can you possibly simplify for us, Susan Amunyanoka? I would say menstruation is a stage whereby a girl, a young woman, a young lady goes to that, what they go periods like kugeto kwenu and also tiba periods like so it's the the stage where a young girl will go for periods the breaking down of those walls inside a woman's body the, the walls the uterus walls the breaking down of it they form blood and they form the zai the egg so that egg breaks down and that forms the periods Okay. That's what I would call menstruation. Yeah, since since uh, you are getting into deep, uh, can you like describe this process of uh, menstruation? Like, what are the processes involved? Like, I understand it's a cycle or something. What exactly is the, are the processes involved? In that? Okay, I would say normally a girl goes for her periods at the age of 11, 12, 13. But with this generation, some are starting at the age of 9, some are starting at the age of 8. It depends with the young girl. So, this process is not all the girls that go for menstruation like for four, four days, five days, seven days, no. It depends with your cycle and the days that, behind, that are between your cycle. Some go for, it's between 23 days, 28 days, but normally it's 30 days in between before you go for your own, for the next month menstruation cycle. Okay, so it's possible that someone can, to do you end up with? Uh, can go to the moon twice a month <laughs> or can actually skip a month. Is it possible? Yeah, it's possible, but it's not for the young girls that go for t twice in a month. Those those kind of women who go twice a month, I think they are those people who have gave birth or something, something like that. But then for these young ladies, it's in between 23 days, 21 days, 30 days. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, okay, okay. Ah, okay. Um, Kuda, oh. um, <coughs> I'm a guy, you're a guy. Yeah. So I'm sure you always come across in your head, since Pakad's one of my you know, women have eggs in, inside of them. Oh, that's um, true. Please enlighten me. The first time that you heard with you, yeah, about these issues, Zima eggs, I'm sure you were like, ah, Pakad's Zima Zai, you know, because <laughs> I remember the first time I heard about women oh. having eggs, I was like, you, you know, <laughs> but, but you know, you've, you've heard about uh, women having eggs. Please enlighten us. I know we are every month, like, oh, I know we are now, I know we are now, I know Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, let me just laugh uh, just a little bit. But uh, I just want to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I think I know about um, sort of like one million to two million eggs. I know that are in the reproductive system. Seriously? Yeah, very true. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Then <clears throat> I know 
about 500,000, uh, 300,000 to 200,000. But I uh, know that uh, ovulation, panitical ovulation, only 200 to 300 are ovulated. Yeah. Okay. And I believe it was known. I know one of the ones we see is about the church of the church. Ah, I mean, most is I know much. Of the church, they good. Okay. When the person is going to joy, okay. when the uterus lining is going to break down due to the fact that the egg is not going to go on a sperm, it is fertilization. Um, from means to no one. From main sand to one from a desert, one to fourteen. Fourteen the one tangaji uh, ovulation. Ovulation to put egg ring a letter say ragazirwa ring a raku ku expect our kutiruan is pim kutipatke fertilization. Yeah, scatching do a true ovulation. Yeah, as is it? Um, do a disease. Yeah, he's not wrong okay. where he's going. I think I can also research. I can also all out here. This is what we are dealing with when we are doing, we are, we are studying about menstruation. Yeah, remember, he's a youth who's got so many titles. Yeah, that's why, <laughs> what, what this that's why I'm saying he, he truly researched so, on the topic. So I, I understand, like, um, when I remember when I was growing up, um, we broke school. Mm. So now we are just starting in high school. In the room, I banga banga So we are starting in high school. So I would not, I wasn't attending a lot of uh, guiding and counseling lessons. So most of the information you can jump. Mm -hmm. So I remember seeing a girl, Tripa uh, Shkura, and she was, you know, red, mature, and the, 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 the guys from Lavariko were like, ah, oh, my way, you know. I, I can't mention it by name, but here she knows herself. So we were part of the guys who were wondering, ha, what's happening? What's, what's going on? Like, <laughs> what's, yeah. what's bleeding? And I, I was actually asking myself, why is she even attending school when she knows she's in a situation on like that? Okay. Yeah. So my question would be, what are some of uh, the restrictions associated with, um, you know, period in, your, in, in the society? Like, what are some of uh, the taboos uh, that uh, a, a lady is not expect things that a lady is not expected to do when she is in a period. Like from you, I, I understand you are from Heathcliff, you are from uh, Bari, and we are all from different, possibly different religions or different cultures. But what are some of uh, the cultural norms, the societal norms associated with uh, a person in uh, a period? So uh, this question is directed to both of you. But I'll start with you. Okay, thank you very much. Um, uh, in my own area where I, I stay, um, I would like to say Vaskana can have my periods. One of the funny things she's not supposed to okay, actually meet her even near the opposite sex. Like, for instance, to chat it later, so yeah, something like that. Probably I'll just mention to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I can go, go discuss. I'm going to go like, you know, come and ask her. I'm going to stand around and stuff. Yeah, it's difficult for a girl child to take an arm my periods. I need to like such conversations. And the other thing that you're in your week, to be a fun and go to be and stuff. Yeah, something like that. Probably I'll just leave this. Okay, Joey, what are some of uh, the restrictions from your end? Okay, thank you. I'll say, in any growing up, the first day I was so surprised. What's this? Because it was in the morning. Go, oh, go, this is what happened. No, I, I actually, I told my mom. My mom was like, so what do you tell Zozo? You don't have to tell me what we're in the period for the first time. You know, growing up, you know, you're confused. 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 So I had to tell my grandma. <laughs> Go, go. This is what happened, and she was like, Kanawa, you don't cook, you don't put salt when you're cooking because mm -hmm. you're on your periods. You don't sit on my sofas <laughs> when you are on your periods. You don't greet men when they come inside the house, even their visitors, even Mary will come. You don't greet them, okay. you'll be silent. It's more like 
You sit on the floor with your blanket and what, what, what. It was that generation I grew up in, in those days. I don't know nowadays, but from my own perspective, because it's no longer that important. And those traditions are. Okay, so I'll ask. Okay, Munya, I just want to add on just a little bit. Okay. Like, for instance, my, my chichi is quite over. A woman, when she's on her side, you're not allowed to preach. You're not allowed to stand in front. Even in Guptaur, any announcement, you're supposed to sit down and silent. In some, some areas, children, yeah, they're not allowed to go to school. Just imagine. Three, four, five days, you're not even going, attending uh, school lessons. She knows all kinds of results So, but do you think, what, what, what do you think um, is the main uh, reason behind all this? Like, why, why mustn't I, if I was a lady? Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Joe. If you are a lady, why mustn't you go to work when you are on your period? For me, I don't, don't, see, like, I don't why, see the why, reason. Why do you think why Ramzo got so far? Why do you think when the, why was going to find a good reason? Why? Is it actually true? Okay, back then, yeah. since Changa say my pets, say my shandy I think all oh, because of wearing my cotton wools and those clothes, like she got in those pillars, my sofa, and wagazo, that's a good piece of the blood on the sofas or something. But if I saw that, I don't know. I see Panda Gambo Funza, my grandma was like, you have period pain <laughs> if you put salt. <laughs> Because the salt in it out owns what's I don't know. Okay. It's cool. a question I'm putting out there for those people out there. Yeah, maybe the someone <laughs> someone will help me. Could I have a question for you? Um if your girlfriend can help period, would you have sex with her? <laughs> um, it's for me. Mm. Uh, because of the information that I have, to be honest, uh, it's, it's difficult for me to do that. But I've had a lot of guys the, some some of the guys they do that, but it's for me. Ah no, it's I think it's not uh, something that is hygiene. Okay, yeah. Um, look at Okay, I I won't say yes. I won't say no, for myself. But what's going on out there? These people, these young people, are having sex even when they are on their period. Mm. For us growing up. I told you, oh, what is someone who ever reads? If you have sex with a guy, but nowadays people are saying nothing happens because when you're having sex, okay. but the moment you finish having sex, so I don't know. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> I see. So I didn't let me uh, and the guys were telling me it's actually healthy, and it helps. Uh, Prevent him is my, my, my period X. What what is my day good? And I was like, ah, no, guys, I know guys. I you know Semuna was waiting to to get married first for me to have sex. I think yeah, and also I'm just one of the ones who can do so. Anyways, so guys, um, Joy, do you believe that the, the, the communities and especially the institutions like the churches, uh, the schools, in fact, especially the schools, are doing enough? educate uh, the young ones in terms of uh, SRHR issues? Thank you, Munya. That question, I was waiting for it. Oh. I don't think children are being informed or educated on SRHR. I don't think so. Because what we see in these streets, it's so, it's so painful. Unona manam at the age of nine. Aga spoil hembe. Class, they are laughing at her. I spoil her. The teacher is saying, and Akumba, it of our Buddha, we end the Kumba. No, that's not it. Toramana Gezayun from Yamana help the child give her pets where opens such Korochaki, then she can go home after school. But what we are facing in those schools, Unons or my teachers are hitting here. The school doesn't offer us my pets. Does the school have to offer you a pet? Sa teacher which cards, Kutuzo Pama and Akana end up period. General knowledge. As a woman, teach those children in your classroom. I think 
my child lesson have the girls on their side teach those girls vana zvinotangira pakati 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 should we wait for my organizations are kubva out there to come to the school kuti vazo inform vana kuti when you have in your periods you do this and do this and do this imimi teacher muripo i think it's part and parcel of of education zvingazvitangire kuchikoro okay yeah that's what i think uh, could i see you not in your head uh, do you <laughs> I, I see you are conquering <laughs> I don't know you are just nodding or you wanted to shake I don't know. Ah uh, there's a lot of information that has been coming within my head. <laughs> okay. Okay to pop up some. <laughs> okay um um talking about um SRH issues uh, at school isn't it? And like for instance um from from the organization the young people's network where I come from we have um youths in different uh sectors like for instance we have youth in living with disability then we have youth in school and out of school like uh, in particular in youth in school uh, as for us is uh, the members of uh, YPN are dealing with the matters that is to do with SRH we are not allowed to teach youth at school but what they say is um, they have teachers who are well trained in those areas but the, uh, but what is most shocking is most of the young people are doing a lot and it seems as if they do not have uh, adequate information uh, as far as uh, the issues that it has to do with uh, SRIH are is concerned. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so let's say um, uh, the president just wakes up one day, the president of uh, Zimbabwe, yeah. Just wakes up one day and says, Kuda, you are going to be the next Minister of Health and the child. What, what, what. what would uh, be your first step uh, towards ensuring that everything is in place uh, as far as SRHR issues are concerned? Um, I think uh, the first thing, uh, there should be uh, policies that are actually uh, friendly. Uh, in terms of that uh, area that are conducive uh, to everyone. Um, the environment, it has to be user-friendly. We have to create uh, youth facilities in all corners, in all corners, yeah. <laughs> like for instance, nationwide, because uh, uh, people are, are found everywhere in Zimbabwe. So we should make sure that um, everyone access uh, those SRH uh, services and all ages, especially uh, like the age group that we are dealing with. I know like for instance, when it comes to ages, um, sexual matters or sexual issues, they matter in Zimbabwe. Like for instance, you, we are not allowed to, to get married when you are below the age of 18. So age, it matters. So, um, but those young people, they need to access those HRHR services. So I'd make sure that we have created a good environment and make sure to youth facilities, they have uh, facilities and they are in appropriate areas where everyone can access the services. Okay. Uh, thank you, Minister Kud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, over to you, What would be your first, first step to ensure that every day is enough conscientization uh, within the community in terms of SRHR? Thank you, Munya. I'll just go back from what Kuda has just said. I think we all they have to do is have an adequate things to offer to those people out there. User friendly environment, everything that has that has every issue to concern concerning the SRHR issue, they have to be all in order so as to people to do whatever it takes. Because you Munya, you can't do anything without the facilities. You can't go and tell Mana Kuti, you need to go and have you need to go buy pads. Pads that you could kids or this is how you're going to wear a pad. This is the pad. I know when the actual pono squad, I need to buy a pad. Pad delay. Okay. Yeah, that's what I think. Okay, thank you so much. So I, I understand uh, in our different communities there are people, uh, organizations. Uh, and uh, initiatives from the government that are being uh, implemented. And uh, I believe uh, they are working, some, 
in some I, I, I don't know I honestly don't know but uh, to ensure that uh, we, we, we you know complement those those efforts that are being made what do you think uh, is let's say for a lady who's listening out there and for a young young man who's listening out there what do you think uh, needs to be done to ensure that all these people are also encompassed uh, their, their, their thoughts, their sentiments are also encompassed within all these initiatives that are taking place within the community. What do you think can be done? Uh, what do you think is the right way to reach out to them? Do you think Jana Juma Roadshows, do those things actually really work to attract the right age? What, what do you think? Okay, uh, thank you very much. Um, I think the issue of uh, Roadshows, yeah, which you have just mentioned, it matters the most. We need to do road shows. We also need to um, uh, take in advantage of uh, social media platforms. Most of the young people they spend time in uh, social media. Okay. Like uh, it's very very important. Why? Because what's what's important is for the young people to access information, and um, we we also have to target uh, where the young people are found, are gathered. Like for instance, in the recreational facilities where the young people might have. Uh, have been doing something that has to do with whatever that they are doing. Then um, at schools, again, we should make sure that we offer information. The first thing is information about what we are actually offering. Information yeah, like for instance, um, um, when the, as far as menstrual products are concerned, uh, most of the people, we, on, we only know about pads and reusable pads as far as menstruation is concerned. Then uh, when it comes to tampons, soft tampoon and um, yeah, menstruation, uh, you know, underway, menstrual underway, we don't, they don't even know about that. I think there's a lot to, 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 okay. to, to spread when it comes to menstruation within the communities, yeah. Okay. Uh, Joy, any last words before it's certain I'm seeing the skies are getting angry at the minute. <laughs> What would you want to say to our viewers out there? Uh, all I will say is teach these children while they are young. Because at the age of 16, at the end of the day, she doesn't know anything. But the consequences that are there when you're having your periods, those things that are behind going for period, they don't know those stuff. So I think in schools, at home, emphasize on teaching those children about SRHR, teach them about menstruation. So, thank you guys so much uh, for spending your time with us. Uh, I've been your host, uh, Munyara Dindiruzani, and uh, I was joined by Joelin Dube. Did I get that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Kudakwashi Cherezo. Kudakwashi Cherezo. Kudakwashi Cherezo. Oh. I know it's, it's, it's difficult to butter stem face risk one. <laughs> so thank you guys. Uh, until <clears throat> next time, to button. Adios. <laughs> <laughs>